Sorel RMD, how to look at a right upper quadrant ultrasound with attention to the gallbladder. All right, let's face it. Most right upper quadrant ultrasounds lead to the gallbladder as the culprit. When I open up a right upper quadrant ultrasound, I like to first look at the gallbladder and try to exclude acute cholecystitis. All right, that's going to be the most common reason to get a right upper quadrant ultrasound. So today we're going to focus on how to look at the gallbladder and ultrasound. And we're going to talk about why ultrasound is probably the best uh, imaging tool for looking at the gallbladder. And then we're going to talk about how to diagnose acute cholecystitis. All right, so let's start off by talking about why is ultrasound the best tool for looking at the gallbladder. So I'm actually going to use a CT to show you why ultrasound is a good tool for looking at the gallbladder. So ultrasound is a real-time dynamic study. Okay, what does that mean? It basically means we put the probe right on the patient's body. All right, and anything that is superficial, we're going to get a really good look at. Okay. If you look here on this CT, you see that the gallbladder is relatively superficial. Okay, it's just beneath this muscle here. This is the rectus muscle, or right? this is the anterior abdominal wall. So the gallbladder is relatively superficial. All right, the other thing about ultrasound, it's very good for resolving fluid-filled structures. All right, a normal gallbladder internally is going to be full of bile. All right, so we get a very good visualization of fluid on ultrasound. So the gallbladder is really well visualized on ultrasound. All right, the next thing about ultrasound, which you may not know about, is compared to CT, you actually get a better spatial resolution on ultrasound than you do on CT for looking at the gallbladder. All right? Basically, I get more pixels of information on an ultrasound for looking at the gallbladder than I do on a CT. And why is that? So basically, if you look at this image of this CT, you can see I have to image the entire abdomen in order to visualize the gallbladder. If I zoom in on the gallbladder, you can see how pixelated the gallbladder becomes. Okay, here I have an image on ultrasound, and you can see almost the entire image is of the gallbladder. I get more pixels to really visualize the gallbladder. I'm going to be more accurate at diagnosing things like stones, sludge, any lesions of the lumen of the gallbladder, or potentially uh, bad things like um, gallbladder cancer. Okay, so ultrasound just gives me more visual information about the gallbladder, and it is superior to CT for looking at the gallbladder. So how do we image a normal gallbladder on ultrasound? So here we have a, uh, a long axis view of the gallbladder. We're basically going to get two views. We're going to get a long axis view where the gallbladder is somewhat elongated, and we're going to get a short axis view where the gallbladder looks uh, relatively oval. All right. You can see here some normal folds of the gallbladder. Okay, We're basically looking at the fundus, the body, we're looking at the neck, and we try to look at the cystic duct if we can. We don't typically get a great look at that on ultrasound. All right, what are we looking for involved in the gallbladder? We're looking for basically a checklist of things. We're looking for internally, is there any stones or is there sludge? I'm looking at the gallbladder wall for thickening. All right, we can see we measured the wall here. This is 1.5 millimeters. Our normal thickness is going to be up to 3 millimeters. All right, I'm looking for pericholecystic fluid or basically inflammatory fluid surrounding the gallbladder. Okay. Then we're also looking for something which is called the sonographic Murphy sign. The sonographer actually does this. They press down on the gallbladder using the probe, and if that elicits pain, that's going to be a positive result. Okay. The other thing I like to look for is I just like to look at the overall morphology of the gallbladder. Does it look distended? Okay. It should have this kind of flattened appearance, which is normal. If it looks like a bag that's about to burst, okay, that's a clue to me that this might be acute cholecystitis. All right, guys, now let me show you a case. This is the patient that presented to the ER with right upper quadrant pain and fever. So I'm flipping through. This is a right upper quadrant ultrasound. Here is a gallbladder. I'm just going to keep flipping through, I'm seeing multiple images of the gallbladder here. So what you're seeing here is a short axis view of the gallbladder. Now remember the checklist, stones, sludge, pericolcystic fluid, wall thickening, and uh, sonographic Murphy's sign. My own personal checklist item, uh, does the gall bag look obstructed or hydropic? All right. So what you're seeing is the gallbladder is full of stuff. This is likely sludge. All right, there's an off chance this could be tumor, but this is basically sludge. The gallbladder has a distended appearance because it has this perfectly round appearance. It should have an appearance of like a half empty bag. So they keep going. This again, we're seeing the gallbladder swinging out to the left here. We're looking at the gallbladder uh, neck region, looking for any obstructing stones. Basically, there's just sludge obstructing the whole gallbladder. These are some nice images here showing some... Uh, basically low echo uh, fluid here, some fluid surrounding gallbladder. So this is pericholecystic fluid. 
So here's just showing a little bit of hyperemia of the gallbladder wall, again, consistent with inflammation. Here we have a measurement of the wall. It's measuring about 9 millimeters. A normal measurement is going to be 3 millimeters, so there's wall thickening. Wall thickening, pericholcystic fluid, uh, sludge inside the gallbladder. We'll just keep going here again. Distended appearance, round appearance of the gallbladder. All right. So we'll just keep going here. Basically, this is the image of acute cholecystitis. You see right here, sludge-filled gallbladder, a uh, little bit of pericholcystic fluid, edematous gallbladder wall. You can see multiple layers of the uh, mucosa and the submucosa and the serosa here. You can see that pericholcystic fluid. You kind of see it's a regular, just thickened nature of the gallbladder wall. This is acute cholecystitis. All right? If I was going to dictate this, I would say findings that are concerning for acute cholecystitis. If I wanted to have, offer some more diagnostic support, I would offer up a HIDA scan to see if the cystic duct is obstructed. And that's pretty much it. All right. Hope this video was helpful. This is how I look at a right upper quadrant ultrasound uh, with attention to the gallbladder. Thank you for watching.